If you are excited about Star Citizen's introduction of a new starport routing system, tune into this video. I have some thoughts on this matter. It was about 45 minutes after I released my last video that CIG revealed to us their idea of pathing around starports. Now, I'm not calling this landing assist. I'm calling this pathing around starports or ATC. Now this can be offered by many people as an option to make landing easier. At this particular point in time, I don't see this as a correction to the issues I pointed out. I see this as a great start. Now there's a lot of growth, a lot of evolution that needs to go into this product. First off, I don't like that you're flying down a tunnel and you have to enter it in an exact flight path. I know it's easy right now, but I think that there should be a lot less boxes and they should go from being a lot wider to being skinnier at the very bottom of the flight path. And for that reason, I say this, it gives you a lot more leeway and it keeps your screen from being very busy with all these green boxes going by. Now I wanna talk about why this is important and why I do like this, because I think I'm coming off negative. I think this is amazing. We need to think about what CIG brings to us not from how it affects us today, but how it's going to affect us in the future. In the future, we're not going to have 50 people on a server and maybe have five or 10 landing at the same time. Or if you're in a big org, you might go through a situation where you have a lot of people flying around a starport and maybe once in a blue moon you've hit each other. But when we're looking forward, when we're looking down the road, Chris has already asked, when can we start adding more people to the server? And I think they're going to be moving to 60 or 75 at some point in the not too distant future. But when we start getting to numbers that are in the hundreds or closer to a thousand, if that ever happens, you may have some pretty busy starports. And you might need a system where ATC is enacted to actually make pathing down to your landing pad a lot safer. So I do like this. So I do want to say this. Off the bat, people are probably looking at this and saying, this is cool, it's not going to add any extra overhead, and it makes things easier. But I'm going to say, no, 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 no. That's not exactly what it's going to do. Server performance sucks right now, so I don't think this is going to be an option that's going to be rolled out right now as we're suffering 30Ks and 16Ks and 10Ks when to they try to fix everything and client crashes and all sorts of other things. This is something that's going to come, I hope, in 3.11, uh, and I hope as soon as they have server meshing really, really, really tied down. All the flight paths have to be created and updated over on the server. And you're going to look at me and say, why? And because these flight paths aren't really how do I get to my landing destination? Just put a bunch of boxes going there. There's going to be a lot of different ships landing. Think about Port Olisar back in the day when it was the only place to land at. and You had to sit out and wait and wait and wait before a pad was clear. Or Levski when it's really busy over there now because there's not really a lot of pads to land on. There server is going to have to know where each and every one of the ships around the starport are. So it could create these boxes and keep them out of the way of each other for you to fly through. So there's a lot more going on here than you would expect. What I also want from this is there to be some kind of an option. Some kind of an option for us to see a new landing mode on our HUD. We're looking right now, and I believe this is most likely the Gladius because I use that for a lot of the testing. When you're looking right there where the 3D radar is, I still want that to change into the old landing assisted mode. 
So we could line that center dot up with the center of the pad, know when we're over it, and land horizontally. You think I'm crazy, but when they start putting accurate aerodynamic effects and accurate thruster modeling inside of the game, I want you to look at the bottom of a ship like the Freelancer. There's eight thrusters that hold that thing up. If you start pointing that thing straight down, and they're taking all those forces into account when they're trying to more accurately represent aerodynamics, you are not going to be able to hold yourself up as easily as you used to be. What that means is that in atmosphere, your landing is going to have to be more horizontal than it has been for some time now. Now, I see this as a great start, and I'm just going to go right back through it again. I think that there needs to be some evolution here, and there will be. Fewer boxes. I don't need to feel like I'm flying through the Holland Tunnel. I want them to be wider at your entry and tighter when you go down towards your landing pad. And when you get to your landing pad, please, please, please use that 3D radar to actually give me a way to line up right over the landing pad and come in horizontally without having to go to my external view every single time. CIG, you can do this. I have faith in you, and I know that you can just get it in your brains that that is the right path for us. And this is only a start, which is what they said. And I do like it. I just think it can be better. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below. And if you are a subscriber or have decided to subscribe today, please click on that bell-shaped icon to get notified of all my future videos. A big thank you to all my patrons. Without you, this channel would just be going nowhere right now. I'm humbled by your support. And if you want to support the channel, you can go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Batgirl. And as little as $1 a month helps the channel to pay for a lot of cool things that I need to get done to improve my audio, my video, and bring you the best damn space simulator ever content that I can. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there, and I will talk to you soon.